What's up everyone, this is Tony with Journey Crypto. Welcome back to my yearly video. So in all seriousness, I do want to apologize for not making videos. I've still been very active in the space, actually working much more now than I was when I actually was making daily videos, uh, much more stressed as well. Uh, a lot of that stuff is finally coming to completion though, uh, stuff we've been working on for the past couple of years. Um, I'm not going to talk about that though in this video. What we are going to talk about is the crypto markets. I'm getting a lot of people asking me uh, what's going on with the markets, what to expect if the bull market has started. So I do want to jump into that. So uh, before we jump into the news and stuff and the prices and all that, I do want to talk about uh, the psychology of the market cycle. So understanding this is very important in my opinion, because if you do understand this, you understand how the masses think and the psychology behind the market cycles then you can stay one step ahead and be ahead of the herd. Uh, it is hard to do this though, because uh, most people that are uh, experienced in the space, they're thinking uh, with their mindset and how they think. They're not thinking how the masses are thinking. I personally have done this a lot of times. I constantly have to remind myself about this. So this is important. I will be talking about this, referring back to this in this video, but um, I do want to go over where I think we are on this. I actually don't think that we're in a bull market yet. By definition, we are, but uh, compared to uh, the previous peak, I do think we have quite a bit of ways to go. So I have the Bitcoin price chart pulled up here uh, from the last couple of cycles. I do want to refer back to the last cycle to give you guys an idea of where I think we're at in this current cycle. Uh, you have to keep in mind, though, anything can happen. Any breaking news, whether good or bad, can send this in either direction. We did see that with the last cycle here, which is something I do want to refer to. Uh, leading up to the last Bitcoin halving, things did start up on a steady trend here. You can see uh, back in uh, late 2019, uh, Bitcoin started in a steady uptrend from around $7,000, peaking around $10,000. But then going into COVID, uh, lots of fear around that. Um, I do believe the uh, bull market would have actually started around that time. But um, with that mass fear of COVID and then uh, those announcements we had mid-March, we had a flash crash where Bitcoin dropped, uh, the entire crypto space dropped over 50% that day. I remember there was two huge crashes in the same day. Uh, crazy prices that night. Uh, BNB hit like $8, XRP was 13 cents. Uh, Bitcoin, I believe, was bottomed around $3,500. Crazy prices across the board. But of course, it started quickly recovering here, leading to the Bitcoin halving. But that was something no one expected. It was right before the last Bitcoin halving. So we are leading into the next Bitcoin halving, which is expected in April of 2024, April 18th to be exact, 158 days from now. So that is huge. Uh, that's always bullish for the entire crypto space. And we've always had a uh, crypto bull market at some point uh, after the Bitcoin halving. So that previous one did happen early May, um, I believe it was, of 2020. And uh, as you guys can see, it kind of went into an uptrend after that. But because of all the COVID fear and all of that, I do think that greatly affected that. But then we started seeing the printing of... Uh, all the money and everything and uh institutions started buying things started getting very bullish and that's when we entered this bullish phase here uh quickly entering uh the bull market in this parabolic move uh which basically bitcoin went uh around 6x in a short period of time so um i don't think we're entering a parabolic move like this right now uh, i do think that's very possible to happen mid to end 2024 uh, sometime after the Bitcoin halving. Of course, this all depends on uh, major news, how things play out, at what times and everything, uh, any laws and regulations that come into play, uh, government fighting crypto, anything like that uh, does have a massive effect on the space. But overall, Bitcoin halving coming up, uh, Bitcoin spot ETF approval uh, expected by end of year, and then institutional adoption, other things as well. A lot of stuff is looking bullish in general which is why we're starting to get this uh, huge move here. So uh, like I said, keep in mind, any uh, breaking bad news can really send us down, even with all the bullish stuff coming up. As we saw in the last cycle, Bitcoin was in a steady uptrend to hit $10,000. Because of that uh, bad news that we got for COVID, uh, we had a massive flash crash of 50% uh, in a single day, over 50% actually. Uh, and that was for the entire space, mass fear in the entire space. 
Luckily, that did happen, though, um, leading into that Bitcoin halving. If that happened in the middle of the last bear market, I think uh, I would have had a much worse effect on the entire crypto space. But things did recover. Things uh, did get very bullish because of all the printing of uh, fiat currency, inflation, uh, institutions starting to buy massive amounts. We are starting to see people um, buying large amounts of Bitcoin again alongside gold and silver and stuff. Uh, just because more inflation is expected inflation is never going to stop uh, but the rates of inflation uh, does change things as well so um, i do believe we have some time here before we enter a parabolic move like the previous cycle um, i do believe we're going to see another correction or two uh, in the market before things actually do go parabolic like that uh, 158 days till the next bitcoin having that is a long time especially in the crypto space so you do have to keep that in mind but uh, we do have a lot of news as well. There is a spot uh, Bitcoin ETF expected to be approved um, by early 2024. So a lot of people do believe that a Bitcoin spot ETF uh, approval is very close uh, in the next couple of months. Even uh, Bloomberg analysts did say there's 90% chance for Bitcoin spot ETF approval by January 10th, which would be very bullish. I do believe institutions are starting to take Bitcoin seriously. Uh, all these analysts do know that Bitcoin having is coming, that institutional adoption is happening, uh, stuff happening with Fed rates and stuff, uh, which we do have here as well. Uh, news, QCP Capital believes Bitcoin's recent rally is fueled by macro trends and the Fed's rate halt, not ETF hype. So a lot of people do think it's the ETF hype of a Bitcoin spot ETF being uh likely being approved uh in the next uh few weeks to few months but um there are other things happening behind the scenes as well that are bullish so there is some good momentum building up here uh this sentiment is shared uh, by other prominent crypto figures like bitmex co-founder arthur hayes so uh lots of things here that are very bullish uh we have an article here too uh forty thousand dollar bitcoin is possible in november and here is why so Bitcoin's price could hit 40,000 in November due to the upcoming Bitcoin halving cycle in April 2024, anticipation of the SEC approval for a spot Bitcoin ETF in early 2023, uh, other things as well like institutional adoption and uh, Fed rates, uh, inflation, and uh, just a lot of development in the crypto space in general. So definitely bullish $40,000 Bitcoin could happen. Uh, in my opinion, I think we're likely to see a small correction here first. But uh, regardless, uh, long term, I do think uh, six to 12 months out, we are going to be looking a lot better than we currently are, even with the recent uh, uptrend, uh, especially after the Bitcoin halving, after the spot ETF approval, after more institutional adoption. Uh, so MicroStrategy, they're now up over a billion dollars on their bitcoin investment which is huge they were down pretty bad uh when ftx did collapse uh so that is looking good now as well uh surge in bitcoin wallet holdings uh signify growth in investor trust we are starting to see a lot more people uh buying bitcoin uh, which is a good sign the number of bitcoin wallets holding over a thousand dollars worth of bitcoin has reached a new record high of eight million so this is a record high of the entire existence of bitcoin uh, you guys can see the chart here uh the amount of wallets that are holding a thousand dollars worth of bitcoin or more so uh that's a good sign we're starting to see a lot of uh analytics and stuff and uh data like this that does show that things are getting more bullish a lot more people are getting into crypto uh, especially with all the upcoming stuff it just uh creates a lot more uh bullish sentiment a lot more confidence in the space because the more things that are bullish on the horizon the more people trust that uh, their money is safe in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies and stuff. So uh, these things are all good. It uh, doesn't guarantee, though, that uh, buying in right now at a $37,000 Bitcoin is a good idea and that we won't have any more crashes. Uh, corrections are always going to happen, as we can see in the history here. Uh, we even had a couple of crashes uh, when things are bullish. Uh, in the last bear market as well, going into the pre that Bitcoin having, and um, lots of things happened uh, that really a lot of experts in the space didn't expect during the last bull market, which is why all these massive companies collapsed. Uh, if 
we didn't have that collapse, I do think it would have been much worse later on if FTX collapsed much later when they had much more uh, money that they were managing and stuff. Uh, it would have been much worse and that could have triggered further things collapsing like USDT, other crypto companies and stuff. So while it did uh, very negatively affect the space, it could have been much worse if it didn't happen at that time. So in my opinion, that was a necessary cleansing here that we did have. And uh, that being out of the way now is just another bullish thing for the next bull market uh, since those things are out of the way. So I do want to go back to this market cycle uh, psychology chart and talk about where we're at. All the different phases here, this is good to understand. Uh, so I do believe that we're currently in this disbelief phase here. We just had a good rally. Uh, it does say this rally will fail like the others. Um, I do believe we are going to have a correction here, especially because uh, certain bullish things are quite a ways out, like the Bitcoin halving and everything. But uh, there is always corrections that is healthy for the market. Uh, after a correction with more bullish stuff coming out and uh, people continuing to dollar cost average and accumulate, we enter another rally, uh, which would be the hope uh, rally here. A recovery is possible. So this is after we've had a couple rallies here and uh, overall it is a steady uptrend when you look uh, at the bigger picture. Uh, another correction after that on this chart and then that's when things start going parabolic here. Uh, we get a much bigger rally that's much quicker and that's the optimism this rally is real so uh that's the parabolic phase that's when we're gonna see bitcoin uh breaking 50 to sixty thousand dollars uh with a quick pump uh something like the bitcoin spot etf approval could have that effect uh but like i said nothing is guaranteed uh we could get some really bad news as well like we saw with the last uh, uh bear market when uh, we were leading up to that bitcoin having I'm hoping nothing like that happens, but it is good to always be prepared for anything to happen. Uh, if your dollar cost averaging and you're prepared for those major dips, then you can take advantage of them. You can buy things when they're discounted over 50% on those type of crashes. So uh, that's how I uh, invest in the crypto space. I spread things out. I uh, dollar cost average. Uh, during the bear markets, I just pretty much do small buys here and there. Uh, not too active, but uh, when things do start looking bullish, especially that's uh, when you want to be taking small profits on the way up and buying on the major dips. So having that entry and exit strategy, like I've always talked about, that's very important. This is a good time to sit down and uh, write that strategy out. Know where you want to take profits, at what percentages, know where you want to be buying. If there's major dips, have your DCA strategy, uh, know how much uh, you're going to be ready to buy with and everything. Those things are important to be successful in this space in the long term. Uh, but like I've always been very long term in the space, um, always going to be in cryptocurrencies. I'm not in this just for quick, uh, quick flips and quick profit I'm here for the very long term. I don't think I'll ever have zero cryptocurrency or NFTs in, uh, going forward. So last article, Bloomberg warns crypto rally may fizzle despite ETF hopes. So this is basically just saying people may be buying the rumor, selling the news. So uh, this does happen a lot in the crypto space. People buy the rumor of something coming up that's very bullish, and then they sell it and take profit when it happens, uh, usually a couple days before or the day or day after that the news does break. So in this case, people been uh, dollar cost averaging buying Bitcoin in anticipation of the Bitcoin spot ETF approval. In which case, on the news announcement of that, they would sell and take profit, uh, which is very possible. Then we get a small correction for a month or two, uh, and then things start picking back up again, leading into the Bitcoin halving. Uh, I do think that's very possible uh, and very likely to play out uh, like that. But like I've been saying, anything can happen in this space. Any bad news can send us uh, down in a market uh, crash, even upwards of 50% again. Uh, we saw that in the last bear market so uh, it is good to look at the charts understand what's happened previously uh, understand market psychology and uh, the market cycles if you understand this well and you can think like the masses then you can stay ahead of the masses stay ahead of the herd and that's how you're going to do the best in this space but of course uh, dollar cost averaging having a good entry and exit strategy also very important uh, even understanding this stuff i don't like uh, going all in or um doing large moves all at once i do like spreading things out just to lower averages and stuff and play it safer uh, i don't like to stress out too much about this stuff so for the average investor it is better to 
uh, play things safe like that and have a safer strategy, but it is probably a good time to sit down, uh, write out your entry exit strategy, know what you want to do uh, leading into the next rally and stuff, and what your long-term goals are in the crypto space that will help you be more successful in the long term as well. And always remember anything can happen, uh, anything really bad can cause a very quick market crash, anything very bullish can cause a parabolic move. It's very possible we do break fifty, sixty thousand dollars Bitcoin with the spot ETF approval, uh, but uh, when that actually happens, I have no idea. Um, but like I said, mid to end twenty twenty four is what uh, when I think we're going to be seeing uh, things much more bullish. The optimism, uh, belief, thrill, euphoria phase I think is going to be happening sometime in that period. Um, so. I am just dollar cost averaging and seeing where things are going. Um, I will be doing a, another video uh, coming up, going over more altcoins and stuff. Uh, Cardano update I want to do. Go over some of this other stuff. Solana has pumped massively since that market crash. I believe it bottomed around $8. It's $60 right now, which is insane. Uh, we can see here. Uh, just insane how this has uh, played out. Massive rally here going from 20 60 dollars now that's a 3x uh in a short period of time uh just in the last couple months so that's huge starting to see that with other altcoins too which is great to see uh so i will be doing some other videos coming up going over some stuff if you guys have a request let me know in the comments below as well let me know what you guys think about the current market conditions if uh, you think we're in a bull market uh, how things are going to play out and everything. And don't forget to use blocknews.com for your daily crypto NFT news. I do appreciate that. Like I said, it's straight to the point. No ads and stuff. Uh, quick website. Uh, so definitely a good site to use. Uh, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, again, I do apologize for not making more videos throughout the bear markets. But I have been very active. I have been building a lot in the space. I do have a couple things coming up I'm excited to launch. Uh, if you guys do want to stay up to date on that type of stuff, I post more uh, on Twitter, pretty much active daily on Twitter and in the Journey Club Discord. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it useful and I hope you're all doing well. I'll see you guys in the next one.